browser. And once you do that, then you're going to go to huddle.com. You'll log into your account. I've already logged in. I've logged in as a player, uh, not as a coach, so that we can see uh, a similar screen. I'm then going to go to video. And in video, you'll see these games that are loaded for you. I'll then click on watch the game. And it will turn on uh, one of the games. I'm going to mute it so you can hear me a little bit better. And as the game plays out, I can scroll ahead. I can determine uh, where the clip that I saw in the game that I want. I'm um, able to fast forward, rewind, whatever I need to do. But once I find the clip that I want at the time of the game, you know, uh, maybe I remember that it was 10 minutes into the game that something took place. Um, and then I'll find that exact clip. And then I'll show you how to click on a highlight. So as it's buffering, yes, Huddle will buffer. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they are streaming video, high-quality video uh, online. So there are times of, of waiting um, while it's buffering. This star is the highlight star. And so when you click this star, as, as it stops buffering here in just a moment, when you click the star, all that's really going to take place is that you're saying that you want to create a highlight from that section of the game. And so if I click a star, uh, you know, not much has happened here, but if I click a, a, scar, a star um, after the next play that will occur, okay, the ball goes out of bounds, he tries to beat him, and he's down the line, good defense, breaks him down, win the ball. So I'm going to click a star there. It's repairing my video now. Uh, it's creating the, uh, the highlight itself. Now I'm going to use this bar here to shrink the highlight itself and take it into the space that I want. And uh, when I have what I want, um, then it's going to give me an option to save it. So I'm going to go all the way through this piece here. And then it says, nice work. Your highlight is being posted to your profile. So I'm going to exit now. Um, once I have all the highlights from all the games that I want, and I can go into here and click my highlights. I'm going to put, or I'm going to select uh, create a new highlight reel. You can see that I have a few tutorial highlights, test highlights. Uh, so create a new highlight reel. Now, over here, we have a couple different tabs. We have music. We have a title slide, which means I can just kind of change what the title slide looks like. And then I have uh, uh, all my highlights here that I've selected Okay, uh, in the games in the video library. So this title slide, it can't be edited. This title slide, you can see it says it has been added according to what information that's on your profile. So you want to edit your profile. You could put your name, uh, you know, your weight, uh, your GPA, how many goals you score, stats, whatever, weight, height, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And so uh, now down here is where I'm going to drag and drop all of my uh, highlights. So let's just pull two from Duncanville, and I'm going to hit add selected uh, highlights. I'm going to go back. I'm going to select all here. I'm going to add those. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go into this Flower Mound game. I'm going to select all those. I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to go to the East game. I'm going to select that. I'm going to put it in there. So I have some highlights in there now. My next step, if I want to, is I can add music. It gives me an opportunity to kind of add some music. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Let's, let's go here. We're just going to drag and drop that in. Uh, it looks like it's going to play all the way through all the highlights. Now, inside these highlights, I have a couple different options. So, you know, on this play, the play plays out. It's about a 12-second play. But you can see, you know, uh, Michael Lewis is going to take a left-footed shot here. Uh, you know, maybe I want to spot shadow him. I'm going to put a shadow on him. I can choose what size I want that. You know, I can smaller, bigger. Uh, I can choose what kind of that, that shadow looks like if I want one of these to move it out of the way of the play. You know, it's my option. So, done editing. I have them. Now you'll see when this plays out here. That there's going to be a spot shadow on him right before he's getting ready to shoot. 
uh, because that's what I put in. And so you're going to see it. It keeps playing. Ah, he just missed, okay? And so I can do that on each of these. I can also trim them. I have the option of trimming those down. Um, and, and if I want to watch it and I want to see it uh, with the music, I can just hit the music. All right, so once I have this done, they're going to ask me to put a name here. I'm going to call it uh, Tutorial Highlight Number 1. I'm going to hit Done. Uh, I spelled Tutorial wrong. Big deal. I'm going to hit Save and Publish. So now it's on my profile. Now at this point, now that I have it published, I can actually share it. This is the place where if you have college coaches that are looking at you or you want to share it onto like a YouTube channel or et cetera, et cetera, you can share it here. Okay. Play it, and you can go back to your highlights. You can share it. So I'm going to return to my highlights, and then you're going to see the highlight down here called uh, Tutorial Highlight Number One. Um, I can I can order that if I want to pay for it. Uh, I can make it my feature highlight. I can delete it later. I can edit it. I can share it. So I have some options here. So it's pretty cut and dry, pretty simple. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me or reach out to me. Hopefully, this video was helpful for you. Uh, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and uh, let's have a great season. Thanks so much.